it's really cool to see all of this happening for Carla. Now seeing her on the main marquee here in Times Square is, is pretty incredible. She was the first ever strawweight champion in the entire division when it started, and now to win the belt back almost eight years later is, I think, something that has already cemented her legacy, and come this Saturday, she's going to do it again, and, and still. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. This is the iconic spot in Times Square, and to have a billboard up there with my name on it is like the coolest thing in the world. I remember even watching like Seinfeld and see like Kramer up there like in his Calvin Klein underwear with the cowboy hat on and I'm like, that's me now. It's so cool. <laughs> Naked cowboy. <laughs> well, this is where we get male versus female. <laughs> I, I don't care how tough she is, I'll kick her ass. I'll kick her ass just because I'm a man. No, be easy. <laughs> I still think, because I'm heavier, but maybe not. She hit me right in the balls. Breaking a sweat for a sweat when we're here. Get that uh, plane ride out of us. Loosen up and feel good. Good energy, good atmosphere. Having fun. Fight me. Well, the championship mentality is having fun, you know, doing your job and doing it well and having a great attitude while you're in there doing that. And, you know, some of the fights like uh, Max Holloway fight, uh, the Pettis fight, you know, those were some of our happiest moments. So we like to take ourselves back there. Good remembrance, good memories, good energy, and positivity gets it done. This is a dangerous fight. This guy's explosive, he's powerful, he's a great athlete. He's dangerous, but I know adversity might present itself in this fight, just like I prepared for mentally in other fights. I'm ready for it, let's go, let's go. I mean, I wish it was five rounds. I don't want to take it deep, I'd love to finish him in the first round and get out of there and go back home to my daughter, but I'm willing. It's me versus me, it's not the arena, it's not the record, it's not the legacy, it's me versus me, I want this win. By any means, I want this for me. I don't give a fuck about money. I don't give a fuck about the record, my position, my ranking, a title shot. I don't care. I want this victory for me. I want to be brilliant, ready now. Champs ready now. We got to contain him. Contain the beast. the best night of my life. It's everything I've ever dreamed of. Ever since I laced on the gloves and I was in the ring and the cage, it's all I've ever wanted. I've never been more excited to compete. I'm coming here to just put on the performance of my life and I'm 32, I've earned it, I've worked hard. I've, I've come up the hardest way and I'm absolutely ready to go. I don't want to be on the other side of those gloves. God damn, good to meet you. It's good to have you here with us. This is your house, if you're home. And I can't wait to watch you fight. Thank you, boss man. I'll be there rotating. You know what that means? Where I'm from, this is my football club. This says nothing but the best is good enough. And that's exactly what it's going to take on Saturday night. I've been the underdog for most of my fights, so it, it really doesn't phase me because if it phased me, I wouldn't have won so many of these fights. I have this strong belief in myself, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Less than two laps to go. <laughs> Just doing like a nice, easy two miles, nothing crazy. I mean, it's not a big deal to me. I don't think we're like in the West Side Story and we're gonna start uh, scrapping it out here in the fitness room. So I think uh, I'm feeling okay better 
It's kind of funny though. You just like then go into battle with somebody in like a couple days, and you're just like, "Hey, what's up? <laughs> Are you using that towel?" <laughs> yeah. So it's whatever. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, man. Seeing myself on a on a billboard is pretty uh, pretty nuts. Middle of Times Square too. It's like little guy from High Ridge, Missouri. Times Square, man. It's uh, it's humbling. Can't wait to go out there and show everybody who has seen the billboard who I am on Saturday night. Everything has led to this. Once again, the biggest stage I could possibly ask for: UFC, Madison Square Garden. And Dustin Poirier, arguably, I think, the most decorated lightweight we have on the roster. And I believe knocking off Dustin Poirier puts me in line for the title. You walk into a lot of arenas, you walk, you know, you're fighting inside of the Octagon and other places. It's, it's different here at Madison Square Garden. The, the, the venue actually shakes. Thank you. Yo. Thank you, bro. At the top. Yes, sir. There kill, you go. Kill Poirier, yes, Thank you. Thank you, guys. Kill Poirier, dang, dude. They're trying to kill him. He's got a wife and a daughter. In a lot of people's eyes, this is the people's main event, and uh, everybody's looking forward to this fight. The intensity that we bring, that's must-see TV. It's on the edge of your seat action, and I plan on being the victor. Legend, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. Bro, I was telling them I made my debut on the card that you were headlining on UFC 125. Yeah, Now here we are in the garden. It's crazy. Respect, man. Respect. Checking in with Dustin Diamond Poirier. Laughing at zone. What do you expect from him? Do you think that he comes out there and he fights you like he fought Justin Gaethje? Because he was this. brave, bro. If he fights me like he fought Justin Gaethje, I'm yeah. gonna clean him up. You think he'll put him up? I'm going back to Lafayette. That's it. Yeah. You think if he him comes him? out there with a tough guy mindset, hands down, I'm gonna out tough you. I'm gonna clean him up. These guys are all hard hitting guys, but they don't have the rhythm, the timing, the, timing. the accuracy. I'm gonna show you, bro. Family is everything. This is the meaning of family. You get Papa Pereira has always on our corner. Vale do cinturão com a gente, né, Santoni? Agora estamos de volta no batido. É, isso daí é mais um. He's only been knocked out once in his career, and it was by you. He's a very confident person. But do you think that deep down, like you never forget that? that não, com certeza é coisa que não dá para esquecer. É... Você pode superar isso, entendeu? Aceitar. Mas esquecer não tem como. Do you think that KO is behind him, or do you think it still emotionally gets to him? Não, tá lá ainda, não sai, não sai. É uma coisa pra, pra, quando acontece com a gente é uma coisa muito chata e eu não sei como ele vai fazer para tirar isso da cabeça. É, não sei. A nice gift from Meatball Molly. Um, yeah, it's a Nigerian superstar from where she's from who plays in the football team. So she got me a signed jersey of his. And she told me what this means. Nothing but the best good enough. Remember that. You posted a tweet, I think hashtag Law15, which is to crush your enemies. Is this a different feeling for you leading up to this fight? Yeah, 100%. Crush your enemies totally. If you leave any sign of life, they'll come back for revenge. You should have killed me in Brazil. But yeah, now it's my time and I'll crush them totally. You saw Floyd Mayweather the other day, he said, if I have to win a fight, it's this fight. Why do you feel that way? Is it because of him and your history with him? Is it because of the fan receptor to you after the last one? Or is it just because of the training camp you just had, you have to win? Nah, it's just him. Every other fight was important to me. The Whitaker fight, part one, Brunson, you know, Tavares, Costa, whatever. Um, but this fight, I just feel like when I'm standing across from him each round, I just know, like, I can just see it. I'm, I'm getting the vibes, I can just see it. This is the one I have to win.